Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Magandang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Welcome back to the Faith Potential. Wow, January. Uh, napakasarap ng pakiramdam when it's New Year. And I'm just so happy to be here with my spiritual mentor, none other than my Tito Joe Tale, who is in the Philippines. Tito <laughs> Joe. Hello everyone, it's good to be here. In our home in the Philippines. No? So, uh, greetings to all. Pwede siguro magtagalog din, ano ha? Pwede, pwede. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And um, ang, ang sarap-sarap ng pasok nitong taon na to because of course, uh, there's a lot of new members of the team behind the scenes. Yung, yung mga kaibigan natin sa pool party who's helping us uh, and, and everybody else around us. And uh, not just New Year, no? We're, we're actually... Of course, launching the new program within the Faith Potential Channel. Itong chat po, no? itong napakagandang programa kung saan nag-uumapaw ang mga mensahe. And uh, ang, ang, game, ang game plan is very simple. It's really to just get you guys drunk on the Holy Spirit. Get you guys really, uh, you know, enjoy really life as it was meant to be despite its realities. Everybody's asking me from clients, friends, family about the new year uh, sabi nila coach ano bang ano bang ikaw coach tinatanong ko ano daw yung resolution ko ano daw yung babaguhin ko what's the one thing that i will change and before i share my take on it sabi ko i'm, I'm going to ask my spiritual mentor ano yung insights niya about the newness of the year and what it means to us truly a, a new year offers so many opportunities for transformation for renewal kumbaga nabigyan tayo ng uh another lease on life uh, by the Lord and uh, we have to seize the moment and really grab these uh, opportunities uh, pero ang importante dito we knew well we know that newness uh, also really comes from the Lord what we what happens to ourselves we offer this to God and uh, if that is present in all of us uh, then that is where we will get the complete, effective transformation or newness that we, we want. Any newness, any renewal comes also, hindi lang yung renewal, but the renewal also means putting to death the past. Now, putting to death the, wow. the, the, the things that have, uh, you know, bothered us, that have concerned us. Mm -hmm. When we renew, hindi lang yung mangyayari yung bago. Mm -hmm. There is something that, kumbaga, we, we say we, we, we die to ourselves. No, uh, An expression that says mm -hmm. we, we set aside the things that have been dragging us down. No? And um, mm -hmm. th th this is a wonderful, truly a wonderful opportunity wow. uh, that we can do this. By the mm -hmm. grace of God, we put aside the bad things and have the opportunity to grow. Salamat doon Tito kasi grabe nag kinilabutan yung kamay ko kasi I, I think yun yung nagpapabigat sa marami. Ako I'll speak for myself no and I'm sure baka yung mga audience natin uh, I'm sure na imagine nila yon yung parang ang hirap ang hirap magbago ang hirap magtransform dahil yung tethered ka, naka, nakakabit ka doon sa mga dinadala mo mga bagahe, mga ideas Kami sa coaching, tawag namin self-limiting beliefs. Mm -hmm. and, and by the way, sa lahat ng listeners and viewers natin, no, kasali kayo sa usapan dito. So, kung, kung tinatamaan kayo dito sa konsepto na to, just go ahead and comment and, and, and react below. No? Uh, kasi napaka-importante para sa amin ni Tito Joe na makinig din sa inyo at pakinggan kayo. You know, gusto ko lang magbigay ng picture of uh, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. no? Before a plant uh, begins to, to grow, mm -hmm. The seed that carries must first die, you know, uh, mm -hmm. before it can give birth to the renewal. So, you know, hindi naman, hindi naman kailangan na big drama ito, but there are really certain things that mm -hmm. you have to put to death. And uh, when we when we think of the seed sprouting out a new plant, mm -hmm. something there has died first. So mm -hmm. a renewal is both a new thing but mm. also putting aside what should not be there and i think crucial tito yung sinabi mo na 
you also have to let those things die out. Yes. Ideas, bad experiences, mistakes, di ba? wrong judgment, uh, wrong relationships, wrong reactions, wrong words said. So parang I, I, I take so much consolation dun sa sinasabi mo, Tito Joe. Tito Joe, siyempre kakalipas lang noong New Year's and yung Epiphany and sobrang profound sa akin yung dating nung Epiphany and yung yung North Star kasi lahat ng tao ngayon is trying to look for that North Star. Anong anong tumatakbo sa isip mo pag naririnig yung North Star, yung konsepto nung 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 star as a direction dito? We must have a North Star na, na, that uh, will point to us where to go. Mm-hmm. And that North Star for many of us or Christians, that's really Jesus. Mm-hmm. Our North Star should be Jesus, what he says, what he has shown uh, during his life. Hindi na masyado tayong lalayo. Yun ang ano. And in fact, the, the three wise men, you know, yung kanilang star was, showed them where Jesus was. So right. any star, any star that we should follow should should point to where Jesus is. Uh, and uh, and so we, we, we kneel down and pray and offer our own gifts to him. Uh, and it is, it is that which makes the North Star powerful. Ang dating sa akin nung sinasabi ni Tito is, siyempre tatanungin mo yung sarili mo, what's next? Especially yung mga mas, mga nagbibuild ng isang bagay, nagpaplano, nag-iisip ng mga initiatives, ano ba gagawin ko this year? I'm sure marami sa atin, we're going through a very difficult time dahil buong mundo nagsa-challenge sa sa mga pangyayari sa labas, no? sa panlabas, sa economy, etc. And tinatanong natin, anong gagawin ko? Anong pwede kong pasukan? So gusto ko sanang imbitahan kayo na pakinggan yung sinabi ni Tito Joe. No? Lagay mo si Christ. Yeah. Tulad nung sinabi namin nung Christmas, papasukin mo na siya. Papasukin mo siya dun sa party, papasukin mo siya dun sa, yeah. dun sa sitwasyon. Make sure na inimbitan nyo yung celebrant. Oh, yes! Na. Oh, oh, oh. He, papasukin he mo reason, siya. Oh. And Tito, talagang medyo ipuputin na spot kita kasi rare na ano to. Yung, kwento mo naman sa kanila yung yung kung paano nagkaroon na naman ng manifestation tong amazing thing na to is si si Christ kung, kung yung kahit, kahit snippets lang tito nung nung what brought you back and and what's going on next kahit, kahit yung the things that you're just oh, happy to share no nothing of the private and the confidential pero kwento mo lang tito yung kasi sobra ako na inspire ka hapon by the way guys nagkita kami ni tito Joe ka <laughs> bumalik ko dito sa Pilipinas at the states because we have uh... This this is the usual time for the for couples for Christ to have its conferences. The theme namin, natin this year is uh, still Christ heals, but dinagdag yung uh, verse from Mark to uh, rise, pick up your mat and Whoa! go. Whoa! <laughs> rise, pick up <laughs> yeah, your yeah, mat and go. Pick up your mat. Tuloy mo tito. Kwento mo yeah. sa kanila what that means. Do not dwell with your illnesses. No, a bit of uh, stepping back. Yung mat, kasi this is the, the verse where uh, the four friends carried a paralytic friend nila mm, mm. Uh, to Jesus for healing. Mm. Pero kita na punong-puno yung, yung papunta sa door. Wala silang, hindi nila mapasok. Hindi nila madala si yung kanilang friend to Jesus for the healing. Mm. So what they did was create a, a, a hole in the, in the roof. No, biro mo. Oh. Maraming pwedeng sabihin dyan, pero yun muna, they created a whole intro para mababa nila yung Gumawa paralytic. Gumawa ng paraan. Oo. Oh. But the paralytic was all these times laying on the mat. The hmm. mat that can really be a symbol of our illnesses, of our sins. Hmm. So nung dinala na itong paralytic kay Jesus, he, he healed him by also forgiving his sins. Rise, pick up your mat and go. So, ibig sabihin noon, let us not wallow in our sins. We let us not wallow in our mm. sins and our problems. Mm. Kailang tumayo mm. tayo mm. at uh, go where the Lord wants us to go. This the new year this new year really offered my wife, Baby Lo, and I something really new na hindi namin akalaing mangyari sa buhay namin. Pero mo, at, I'm turning 72. Uh, at this age, we... <laughs> We don't we don't have any explanation except this is the Lord's plan. Big luck, meron ka offer for employment. <laughs> Pero 
I, I prayed in a special way for three things. Mm-hmm. I prayed for a job. Kasi nandun kami sa America, wala naman akong means of livelihood. Kami ni Baby Lou. Of course, mm-hmm. we're staying with our daughter. We don't need anything. Mm-hmm. We have the love, etc. But there is still something in us that looks for something to do. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, of course, many things we can do. But a, a job w- was something that I looked for and I prayed for. So I prayed mm-hmm. for a job. Mm-hmm. I prayed for our daughter who is still here in the Philippines, mm-hmm. who is a blessing and then dito sa Pilipinas. But someday we said, sana ang gusto namin, uh, makasama, niya sa, makasama siya doon sa US. Mm-hmm. So that buo yung pamilya namin doon. Mm-hmm. And thirdly, I prayed for the virtue of humility. Humility can be described and defined in many ways, but that particular time, what it meant to me and what I prayed for, it's a humility to just surrender your life to God. Pag humingi ka sa Diyos, paghandaan mo kasi yung ibibigay niya sa'yo <laughs> yes. beyond, beyond sa panaginip mo. To, to, to all of the listeners, no? so pick up your mat. Pick up your mat. Biga, pinaka-importante sa lahat, patawarin mo yung sarili mo. Yung just doing your best, ang, ang, ang nakakakita niyan kasi talaga si God eh. Amen. Wa, wag niyo muna masyado problemahin yung sinasabi ng social media friends mo. <laughs> o kaya ng mga sinasabi ng mga, di ba, wag niyo masyadong problemahin yun. Be at peace. If you're trying your best, that's good enough. That's good enough. Dito, uh, gusto kitang imbitan to just you know to close our show to with a prayer sana if if possible yes of course i have the father the son the holy spirit amen almighty god and father you are truly a god of surprises and uh, every time we submit ourselves to you you give us a new year a new opportunity uh, to renew ourselves a new opportunity to to realize your faithfulness and your goodness to us. Lord, help us. Uh, give us the grace that we can lay uh, aside, we can put aside the things that may be uh, drawing us to still stay and lie down in our mat, in our problems, in our sinfulness. Uh, help us, give us the grace that we can stand up, mm-hmm. can stand up and go where you want us uh, to go, O God. Mm-hmm. Help us, Jesus, because we know that as we as we celebrate a new year, as we remember the epiphany, we remember the North Star that uh, you gave to the three magi, we know that that North Star, if it is, if it points to where you are, we will go there, Lord God. And uh, uh, we know these things in concrete, especially for my wife and I and our family, the things that are happening to us are, are, are not because we planned it this way. Hindi dahil magaling kami magplano. Eh, talagang pinakita niyo, Panginoon, you are, your plan is the best. We might be uh, thinking of other things, but when we are anchored on you, you will just make the circumstances uh, in our lives such that you will bless us with good things and plenty. And we thank you for that, dear Lord. Continue to be with us during this year. Help us to live each day truly as an offering to you, O God. And this, we pray for your greater glory and honor. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Amen. Kayong lahat mga ka-drinking bodies natin sa Holy <laughs> Spirit, wag niyong kalimutan to, you know, like, subscribe, Share, share, please share. Shat puno, uh, one of the most fun things that I could have ever imagined in my life. Uh, again, hindi namin plinano yon. Iba ang nagdala sa amin. So kung sino man yung nag-isip nito, uh, alam namin na uh, medyo inaalalayan siya ni Kuya Jess. Tito Joy, it's such a pleasure to be with you. I'm so happy. Kita-kita tayo soon. Um, have a safe trip. I know you're going to Dumaguete soon. I look forward to, you know, having our conversation about love in oh. February. Oh, 
Napakaganda mag uh, mag-session na naman tayo dito sa ating chat puno. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat and God bless all of you.